The email we've been waiting for has arrived. Electric sent me an email today describing the process to order the hydraulic brake kit. There's basically a, a button in the email that you click to go into the hydraulic brake kit order form. Electric asks that the form be filled out by July 31st, otherwise you might be left out of this process and that there will be a future email on the electric power PWR upgrade for the controller at a later date. And Electric does provide an email if you have any further questions uh, about filling out the form. So when you click on that button, these are the instructions for the form. Electric reiterates that to get the free hydraulic upgrade kit, you must fill out the form by July 31st. Once they confirm our information, we should expect the second confirmation email within 30 days and an expected shipping time frame. Once the kit is shipped, there should be a, a third email which includes a tracking number. And after the brakes arrive, you know, they say you may proceed to install them or review instructions and videos that they will provide uh, links to uh, to help with installation. And they also have a network of service partner bike shops across the country that are able to help with the installation. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so then there's uh, links you to the web page and you can see a map of available shops. Electric describes the benefits of hydraulic brakes, which we know include a much less requirement for adjustment on the brakes more consistent braking and you have stronger brakes with two pads acting on the disc instead of a stationary pad and one pad that uh, moves. Now surprisingly as had been rumored the hydraulic brake kit includes the entire front wheel assembly so we should expect a wheel, a tire, a tube and a brake rotor pre-installed and then separately we're going to have a, the brake lever, the brake line and the brake caliper to be installed in the front. The rear does not include a full wheel, which makes sense because that's where the motor is and that would be very expensive. So for the rear, we're just gonna get the brake lever, the brake line, and they say a front brake caliper, but I think they mean a rear brake caliper. And it might be the same caliper, so this might technically still be correct. It describes the tools that will be needed. And they do mention that Nut Hydraulic Brakes are the brand that are being supplied. E-bike review channels, do seem to have a positive positive comments on these nut hydraulic brakes but but we'll see we'll see how they compare to what comes on the xp trike and some of the shimano brakes that i've been playing with okay so we click on next they ask for an email address they ask for your name they ask for a shipping address they ask for a phone number and then finally they ask for a picture of the serial number engraved on the bike it is at the bottom of the head tube and they also ask you to type in the serial number now you you may have filled in the serial number on the first page of your owner's manual if you got a paper copy but if not just go out and look at your bike and take a picture of the serial number to upload and also type it in manually now i think the picture i have of the serial number does not cover the entire width of the number. There might not be a way to capture the whole number in just one picture. I think I'm gonna try to upload um, a couple of pictures pasted side by side to make sure the whole number is visible. It does appear you can upload multiple files for the pictures of the serial number. I took it in two parts, the left side of the serial number, then the right side. I could not fit the entire serial number in just one picture from the front. So let's hit submit see what happens okay I get a thank you message submission received if you have more than one XP 3.0 you're gonna want to submit multiple files they repeat what we should expect so it's a pretty simple process hopefully it continues to be smooth and uh, it's really cool to see that there's an entire wheel being shipped so now you're gonna have a spare wheel spare tire and a spare tube for the front end but anyway this is really good news today it looks like Electric is keeping to their word and things are moving forward.